Ding, 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 ding. Ding, 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 ding. Come on in. Let's get cooking. I got something in the kitchen. I got something good. I'm Latina Wynn, singer, songwriter, obsessed with healthy cooking and eating. Let's get cooking. Some of your favorite artists. When I'm not on tour, I love to cook. In my cozy little Laurel Canyon kitchen. Each episode, I will be sharing with you healthy options for some familiar recipes. Together with friends, family, and the local community, we will be exploring some of my favorite LA finds and experiencing some new things as well. It's a little something for everyone, all wrapped up into one multicultural American pie. My hope is that you will enjoy some of what I share and try adding a little to your home cooking. Let's get to cooking. Today we are making beet burgers with homemade buns using cassava flour. This recipe comes from one of my favorite cookbooks, Plant Paradox by Dr. Stephen Gundry. I fell in love with this plant-based recipe. In my opinion, it tastes just as good as a meat burger. It's way healthier and a lot kinder to the environment. I am so excited to share with you another good for your gut recipe. I moved to New York City when I was super young and I had never had an avocado. Just from where I was, but now going all over the world, I see all kinds of things. My name is Keon Harold. I'm a trumpeter, composer, activist, Latina. We met working with Maxwell, so we've been on tour since like 2008. Everywhere I go, there's always some kind of food that somebody's trying to feed me, which I love. I have an inner eater. Her name is Beulah. My name is Shantae Moore. I'm a singer-songwriter. September will be 30 years since my first record. Latina and I met. She is a songwriter. She wrote this beautiful song called Amazing, and it was amazing. Here's what you need to get your plant-based grill game on. Let's get to cooking. Two cups of walnuts, two cups of chopped mushrooms, one cup of chopped red beets, then you're gonna need two cloves of garlic peeled or a quarter teaspoon of garlic powder, one half cup of chopped red onion, the teaspoon of paprika. I personally love smoked paprika, so that's what we'll be using today. You'll also add one tablespoon of parsley, one half cup of finely chopped basil. We're gonna put the walnuts, the mushrooms, the beets, the garlic, a quarter of the onion, paprika, parsley, a quarter teaspoon of pepper and salt in a food processor fitted with the S-blade. We want the S-blade because it creates a ground meat texture. Then we pulse a few times, leaving the consistency chunky. Next, we will transfer the mixture to a mixing bowl. If we had Smell-O-Vision, you would be like, OMG, it smells so good. And stir in the basil, the remaining quarter cup of the onion, and the flour, the cassava flour, two tablespoons of that. So, we have this beautiful mixture. Let's make some patties. Grease your hands with olive oil and knead the mixture to fully combine ingredients. On a sheet of wax paper, form into four patties. Heat a large skillet over medium high heat. Add the patties, cooking four to five minutes on each side. To serve, place each patty on a lettuce leaf or homemade bun. Add a dollop of avocado mayo. I like to top with slices of avocado and cover with a second lettuce leaf. All American plant-based burgers. Today we are using cassava flour. Cassava flour is a great alternative to wheat. It's great for your gut health and it's drought resistant. So it adapts to climate change. And I was thinking, what could go really well with a beet burger? Parsnip and Japanese sweet potato shoestring fries. Here's what you need. One parsnip to slice, one half or one small Japanese sweet potato sliced in matchstick sized pieces. You'll be adding one to one half cup of coconut oil, heating it to 320 to 350 degrees. We will cook each of the vegetables separately with parsnip taking about a minute and the Japanese sweet potatoes taking about two minutes. So from my patio garden, I have some rosemary and we're gonna chop and chop. Our delicious, way fewer carbs and fat content fries are ready to eat. The vegetarian substitutes are really good. They're getting better than they used to be. So I like it. I'm a burger guy. So anywhere you go from in and out to wherever, I love good burgers. Let's get to eating. Let's get to cooking. I got something awesome. in the kitchen. Looks amazing. For you? You made all of this. I made all this. I made the bread. If you'd like to eat it totally plant-based, you could just eat it with the lettuce. Yeah. And here's a little 
something for your fries. It's like eating a regular French fry. My eyes see French fries. And so my lips taste French fries. I mean, the texture is so similar to Very white similar. potato, and it's just a little bit more healthy for you. It's just, it's less fattening instead of using white potato, which has, you know, the carbs. Yeah. These are delicious. So light. Mm -hmm. Parsnips are the healthy man's potato. I need more parsnips. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna make this for my man. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's right. If I don't eat it all day, I'll, no, I'm gonna eat it all. Day. No, we're gonna. He's not gonna get this one. The taste and the flavor, mm -hmm. they're so delicious. It doesn't really feel like you're eating a plant-based burger, mm -mm. right? There's places in the country that don't really have great options for produce. I mean, I, I actually didn't start eating avocado until I got older too. I just wasn't familiar with it. I wasn't mm -hmm. raised with it. We didn't grow up eating it. Yeah. I just wish there was more food equality and rich or poor. I mean, I wish that people had better access to good quality fruits and vegetables. If everybody ate a plant-based meal like two to three times a week, we would be doing so much good for the environment. So cheers to improving our health and tasty food. Cheers. 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 When we heal ourselves, we heal the earth. When we heal the earth, we heal ourselves. I'm so glad that you were able to be here with us to share your information with us. Um, we are talking about the environment and we're talking about ways how to be more sustainable. And so I'm trying to eat more vegetarian meals three to four times a week. Vegetarians and vegan diets produce 49.6 less greenhouse gas emissions, which, you know, this is, yeah, exactly. <laughs> I mean, 41.5% smaller environmental footprint um, compared to the diets of people who eat meat. Or, you know, when they ask you at the doctor when you, if you have a cardiovascular or cancer, they'll ask you a whole bunch of questions about what your lifestyle is, but rarely do they ask, are you eating meat? Yet it's the number one count, you know, indicator of, of that. Any choice we make is a reflection of seven generations before us, but it impacts seven generations ahead of us. And we have to be the ones, right? If, if not us, then who? Today we made baby food for my little friend Phoenix and his papa, Jerome. So let's try this out. We have today beets, nectarine, and parsnip puree. Okay, so to make this puree, we are going to need one nectarine, one small beet, we use a parsnip, but we're gonna use half this parsnip. Since we are using raw parsnips, you wanna remove the chewy core before steaming. And then we have some apple juice, one and a half tablespoons. We're just steaming the beets and the parsnips. They've been steaming for about 10 minutes. Oh, look at that, they're nice and soft, perfect. So I'm also gonna add a little bit of the steam water, about a tablespoon. Now we're gonna add our nectarine, chopped. One and a half tablespoons of apple juice. Now we're gonna mix this up. We blended our puree, and look how beautiful this puree looks. And we've also strained it, because you don't want to have any lumps in your baby food. I wanna taste this. Mmm. Mmm. So delicious. Look how beautiful this is. All right, are you ready to try this, Phoenix? Always ready for food, you huh? You wanna try? This is a great way to get kids to eat their vegetables. And parents too. Although I'm, you know, a French guy, uh -huh. you would expect that, you know, I would be a really good cook. Yes. I'm really bad. This is super simple. This is the I'm perfect recipe for you. He loves it. Okay, so we're gonna make the pea soup and I'm gonna show you how to make it. You need two packages of frozen peas in their 10 ounce size bags three tablespoons of the Parmesan cheese. I use Violife, it's 100% vegan, it's made from coconut. We have two scallions that are chopped, and you're gonna need one tablespoon of olive oil, a clove of garlic, you're gonna peel the skin off, you're gonna smash the garlic, and you're gonna put it into one tablespoon of olive oil. So you're gonna use three cups of broth, and since we're making a vegan soup, we're going to use a plant-based broth, and I chose mushrooms. You're going to need a large saucepan, a wooden spoon, and then I have another small saucepan over here because what you need to do is boil your broth before you add the peas to it. Oh my goodness, I'll strain that because I made a homemade broth. You're also gonna need a blender. We're gonna pop out the garlic because you're going to put your tablespoon of olive oil into the pan and we're gonna let that get a little hot and then we're gonna add our scallions and peas. It's about four cups of peas. Listen to them sizzle. And mix everything up and coat your peas with the scallions and get your broth nice and hot. It's simmering, so we wanna get it to a boil. So now our peas are at a lively boil you don't want them to get mushy. All right, I think we're ready to let these things cool. 
I like to blend this really, really well. Blend the peas and cheese thoroughly. Look at this amazing pea soup, guys. So let's try some pea soup. Easy peasy. Yummy. Like, just give me more. This is so good I for working more. busy parents because it's the same meal for you and for him. You want Papa to try? Yeah, you I'm, like to I'm try? hungry too. Yeah, come on. Yeah, okay, try I'm it. jealous. Okay, I don't want you to be jealous. Mm. What do you think? Mm. So good. Yummy. I think one of the ways to not waste is to plan ahead. And a lot of people sometimes are so busy, they don't think to food prep. This is something that I can get used to. All the nutrients that are so good for your body and good for the environment. And so. the deliciousness. And the deliciousness. You did good. You picked the right thing to trick me. <laughs> Next time on Let's Get to Cooking, we will be serving brunch. Bernie Bites to start your day just right. Let's get to My heart